Is Grey Zone Warfare dead? Hello everyone, my name is Black Milk, and in this video we are going to talk about the current player numbers in Grey Zone Warfare. Grey Zone is a first person shooter slash military simulator slash extraction shooter game that came out about two months ago on April 30, 2024, and a month later, on the last day of May 2024, Madfinger Games announced that they sold over 900,000 copies of the game in the first month. That is something insane for an indie studio and unfortunately does not reflect the number of active players for various reasons. If we look at the player numbers, we can see that two months after launch, the game averages around 4000 players at any given time. We can also see that the average number of players dropped from 21,000 in the first month to 5,000 in the second, which leaves us questioning, where is everyone? Where are those 900,000 players who bought the game and why is everyone leaving so soon? And for us to get the answer to that, we have to understand that something like this happens more often than one might think. The first big factor was the hype. Grayson Warfare was insanely hyped during years of development, trailers and closed playtests. That hype built up massively attracted people from outside the genre that bought the game to try it. People that play a game that is not their main genre usually don't stick up for long. Also, the amount of streamers and content creators covering the game was staggering, even legends of the first person shooter genre like Shroud or Landmark were covering the game when it came out. When you are a content creator that big, you can without a doubt influence people to buy the game and play it. Imagine that I start playing Grey Zone and my friends see me playing it and talking about it, it is very likely that they end up getting the game to try it for themselves and end up moving on once they feel that they have experienced everything. A very good example of something like that is Paul World, that came out 6 months ago in January, averaging over 1.1 million players at launch and dropped to around 17,000 today. The second factor was Escape from Tarkov. Even though Grey Zone Warfare is not exactly the same as Escape from Tarkov, it still falls under the looter shooter slash extraction shooter genre and Grey Zone came out during what was probably the most controversial time in Tarkov's history, where every player was mad at the devs because of not so smart marketing decisions. All of that tumult around Tarkov made players come to Grey Zone for a couple of weeks before returning to their main game, the game they like to play, or not, the game they have their love-hate relationship. These first two factors were something that Madfingers had no control over, but now let's talk about how they contributed to further lower the player numbers. The third factor is optimization and game bugs. Grayzone launched with an insane array of bugs, exploits and optimization issues, which is completely okay because of the game being in early access. Server crashes, players losing their gear because of disconnections, sometimes not being able to loot your own body after dying, drove many players away. Unfortunately, not everyone owns a 40 series GPU or a top of the line gaming PC, and for some people the game was literally unplayable, most of those players just decided to wait for further improvements or straight up ask for a refund. Do you know what game doesn't need a 40 series to play? The today's sponsor Captain and Company. Captain and Company is a real-time multiplayer pirate ship combat. Battle it out with up to 128 players in a persistent ocean world filled with treasures, dangerous foes and unbelievable ships to own, but make sure you extract on time. Captain and Company can be played on your browser, PC launcher or mobile. Check Captain and Company today. And the last factor is content. The amount of content and things to do in Grey Zone is limited right now. The game doesn't have an end game or a goal after the tasks are completed. There is almost no reason for you to engage in PvP, and the vast majority of the loot in the game is easy to get, so players don't have to spend extra hours grinding for good stuff. That makes progression faster and also gives players no reason to keep playing the game once every task is completed. 
so most players just move on after completing all the tasks and exploring the map. Madfingers made a lot of money in the first month and that will give them room to breathe and to keep working on the game for years to come. They are also very talkative and have a strong online presence and that helps a lot, believe me. I come from games where the devs go radio silent for months at a time. We also have a roadmap of future content to be added to the game, probably until the end of the year, day-night cycles, new weapons and points of interest, but more about that in a, in a different video. So we know that we can expect in the future, and also kinda guarantees that they will be working and updating the game for a long time. Player numbers will go up in the future, once issues are fixed, game is optimized and content is added. In my opinion, even with an average of 4000 players right now, the game is far from being dead. For now, we, the remaining people that play the game, can just have fun and enjoy the ride. I love this community and Grayzone has been the most fun I had in a long time playing games, so let's just enjoy it. For today that's it, thanks so much for watching, if you enjoyed the video don't forget to subscribe, it helps a lot. I also want to say that I stream Grayzone on Twitch, in case you want to check me out, link will be in the description. Um, and I'll see you next time, again thanks so much for watching and bye!